Well, they say it's always sunny in Spain, but we haven't been so lucky up here in the northern part of Spain for the third week of the 2024 Vuelta España. And that doesn't matter if your name's Caden Groves wearing the green jersey today and picking up his third sprint victory in this edition of the Vuelta. And we'll unpack how everything unfolded here in Santander. This is the capital of the Cantabria region up on Spain's north coast. Also, the place where surfing got its start in Spain in the 1960s and the home region of Oscar Ferrer, three-time world champion in cycling. 141 kilometers today, around about two and a half thousand meters of climbing. This Volta España is relentless for the cyclist, including our race leader, Ben O'Connor, who headed into today's stage five seconds ahead of Primoz Roglic in the race overall. Four riders went free on the day. In that group, our KR rider, well, rider always in orange, always there, is Isasa from Team Escutel Uscati, Greg Gard from Lotto Destiny, and also champion from Team Cofidis. Those riders would have about four and a half minutes, five minutes along the day, and we'd see them fighting out there. And many times we saw Isasa trailing and not looking so good in the escape off the back and then back on and well we heard from Gregard at the finish and he wasn't happy with how much Isasa was working. Champion had his own problems because well he was dealing with mechanical issues so the chemistry wasn't there but despite that they were able to remain out in front. Now back behind the peloton was controlled by DSM Kern Farmer which has picked up two stage wins so far in this Vuelta España with Castrillo, and also the third team, Alpacin de Kunig, which would eventually lead out Caden Groves for the sprint victory. They picked up the bonus sprint points for Caden Groves, who's in that green jersey today after we saw Walt Van Aert crash and abandon in yesterday's stage 16. Caden Groves, now in the green jersey, got the sprint points to add more points to his green jersey lead. Then they were concentrated even more on bringing back that escape as we headed towards Centendere, the coastal town up here in the north. It's not simple because the conditions today, well, rough and rainy for most of the day. Some sunshine, but mostly rain. And so the teams had their work cut out for them. And it wasn't until the final five kilometers where it looked like the escape would be caught. At 2.7, 2.6 kilometers to go, we had our first contact, but it wasn't by the group with the sprinters. It was by some counterattackers who saw the escapees being pulled back, which included Isasa and Arkea rider. And shooting out of the bunch, well, you would have noticed the Swiss flag of Maro Schmid attacking off the front. Also the DSM rider, who we finally figured out was Max Poole. I heard from Pavel Bittner who sprinted there for sprint victory today. And he said it was his teammate doing an excellent job in the counterattack. And of course, Victor Campanards from Team Lotto Destiny, who had his own man, Gregard, up at the front today. Those three counterattackers, well, they were last until that final kilometer. We had that bit of a right-hand turn and then the important left coming in here into the sprint final. And that's right over my shoulder here to the left. And it was Caden Groves being led out by Ed Plankart of Team Alpacin de Kooning, shooting down the right-hand side. Pavel Bittner riding shotgun right on Caden Groves' wheel. And that's where he wanted to be heading into the sprint. But he just had to say chapeau to the big man from down under, the Australian, because he was stronger today. And he was the favorite coming into the sprint. And he had the pressure on his shoulders to pull off sprint victory, especially after Walt Van Aert pulled out of this Walt Espana, and he delivered. Big win for Alpes and de Kunic. They didn't come in here with GC hopes. They came in here with the objective of winning sprints, and winning sprints they did, because when it wasn't Walt Van Aert, it was Caden Groves picking up sprint victories. Pavel Bittner tried. He tried to come around Caden Groves, but couldn't do it, and it was about a wheel's length between the two, sprinting for victory here in Santander. Ben O'Connor still has that five second advantage over Primoz Roglic with four stages to go. A mixed mountain day, two summit finish days are gonna really whack apart the classification. And then the final polish on this 2024 Vuelta España, a TT in the capital of Madrid. But before we can celebrate Madrid, celebrate the red jersey, the victor of the 2024 Vuelta España, we have to say congratulations, Caden Groves, winner of the stage 17 here in Centendere.